Agriculture is a core sector of Uganda's economy, employing 75% of Uganda's population and contributes 70% of the country's export earnings, but also provides the bulk of raw materials for most of the industries that are predominantly agro-based. However, the farming population is faced with numerous challenges, ranging from diseases, pests, to poor agronomic practices, and yet there are limited advisory services, particularly to the smallholder farmers. Thanks to the Joint Crop and Livestock Services for Smallholder Farmers in Uganda project being implemented by Kabi in the four districts of Luero, Kayunga, Mukono, and Buyukwe. One of the objectives of the project is to improve access to joint crop and livestock health advisory services to the smaller holder farmers. This project, that can also be referred to as the One Health Approach, has come to the rescue of smallholder farmers by providing them with advisory services on both crops and animals at a one-stop center. Because the health and well-being of animals and crops depend on each other and majority of smallholder farmers depend on both crops and livestock for their livelihood and health. There are at least two plant and animal clinics weekly where farmers come in a common location well organized with tents including the waiting area. Here, agriculture extension officers and veterinary doctors ordinarily referred to as plant and animal doctors, are ready to receive farmers presenting with different challenges. Because I have a piggery, a small piggery farm, and uh, I keep some local chicken. So when I had uh, some veterinary officers were coming for this clinic, I came for advising. Um, have some uh, four to five pigs, but they are not doing very well in their growth. Uh, formerly, I had the mother stock, but the, my pigs were doing very well. But uh, this current stock I have is not doing very well. And because I've talked to the veterinary officer, he told me it was due to change of the the food I was giving them. They told me that um, I have to buy this medicine because I told them it is coughing a bit and sometimes it's coming when it, like feeling cold. I also want to add on uh, fish rearing. So I just came to have more information about those activities or how I can go about with it. Most especially fish farming. And uh, actually in farming, we are faced with a lot of diseases which we don't know how to handle. When you go to buy drugs for or medicines or drugs for those plants, we may not get the right advice which can help us to treat those. But when I heard that people are coming for a clinic like this one, I had to come and get more information about those diseases and uh, fish rearing. The design of this project has a lot of benefits, both to the farmers and the extension workers. It brings services nearer to the people. For example, when you ask most of these people, they didn't know that we had these people to our disposal. They are there, we have to use them, but they didn't know. But now that you've come, they also know they are there. They can contact them at any time. Two, when they come, they're on the ground, not in their offices. And when you're on the ground, you can solve a problem better than when you're in your office. So this approach should go ahead and you should make more or many more of these clinics. As extension officers, it has narrowed down the gap between an extension officer and the farmer. And that, the, that during the, the, the interaction between a farmer and the extension officer, it is a one-on-one, -on -one and a farmer is free to say the problem at home that he's willing to learn from, or to learn about, rather than just giving them something they are not interested in. So this one, we are addressing a problem 
of a farmer not addressing a problem as an extension of his affairs. This approach doesn't end to being a project yeah, which can be taken up by the ministry so that in our, in our, in our activities as uh, service providers, as advisor, uh, uh, advisory service providers, at least we have this plant and more joint clinics as part of our daily daily work. This approach has worked well for district leaders given the limited resources and personnel to reach out to the farmers with advisory services. Farmers who are keeping both crop and livestock. So it would be it would be doing double work, having and putting more resources, going to the same farmers. To, to, to have their to have for one for individual or separate visits. So the the principal benefit to our to, to the district is that with the few staff that we have we can be able to have a point where we meet and discuss with the farmers with the, uh, and have the double challenge managed. So we, we, we get chance to handle the livestock and the plant challenges that the farmers have at a single meeting. So it is both cost-effective and time-saving. Uganda's Ministry of Agriculture is fully involved in this project and the farmers' information is entered in the National Food and Agriculture Statistics System. The farmers are excited about the joint crop and livestock services because they get instant advisory for both crops and animals, but also benefit from scheduled visits in case there is need, since all the farmers' information is recorded. In developing countries like Uganda, where the agricultural extension system is not yet well organized to meet the needs of farmers, the One Health approach in the provision of crop and animal advisory services is the way to go to achieve improved livelihoods.